say get out and explore because you never know what you're gonna find. We are literally seeking shelter on the side of the arch right now. Wow, this is cool. Holy crap, it's ominous. It's huge. What are you, Tiny, what are you looking at? I'm looking at somebody in their window. Right up there. Oh, taking a picture. Oh, taking a picture of the arch. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, by the way, we decided to take a little detour before we head back to the Airbnb and uh, check out the Gateway Arch at night here in downtown St. Louis. It's crazy. It, it actually looks like it's part of the sky. Yeah, it does. And the, the noise that you're hearing is literally the interstate right to our direct right hand a side. Of, uh, drunk people apparently. Yep. A drunk dude in leader leader hosian, is that right? Yeah. Was riding a scooter and was causing quite the scene. Yeah, there it is. Wow. Wow. And you can go all the way to the tip top. Oh. Look at the arch. Oh my gosh. It's really raining. This is blocking it for us right yeah. now. Yeah, it is. Jeez, this came out of nowhere. Pretty crazy, huh, Tiny? It is crazy. Let's see behind us. It's insane, isn't it? There's downtown. They're coming for you. Okay, so many times on our chan on this channel, we say get out and explore because you never know what you're gonna find. We are literally seeking shelter on the side of the arch right now as it has begun to pour down rain. It doesn't look so bad here, but if you look off in the distance or towards the city, it's hazy. That's not clouds, it's not fog, that's rain. It is literally just raining like crazy right now. But the arch above us is literally keeping us from melting because <laughs> we're made out of sugar because we're so sweet. Check that building out right there, changing colors. I know I say this a lot, but seriously, get out and explore. We were literally getting ready to head back to the Airbnb and just call it a night because it's been a really long day. Then we basically ended up at the arch and we had a choice, keep going or stop and explore. And it's been so epic <laughs> since we stopped. This rain out of nowhere, going to the base of the arch, this building that changes colors, walking over the interstate. It's 11, 10, at night on a Saturday. We've seen drunk people riding scooters and leader hosens. It's pretty nuts. So again, I just encourage you, get out and experience it because it's unlike anything, right Tiny? That's right. That's right, unlike anything. To find things you never thought you'd find before, have experiences, see the interstate, learn to love life, and experience a new downtown because it looks like Gotham City right now. But for now, we are gonna get in the car. It smells like hot dogs right here. Now I want a hot dog. We're gonna get in that car and we are gonna go to the Airbnb. Unless we find another detour, then we'll see what happens. We are back at our Airbnb. We are basically in the heart of the St. Louis area. And our Airbnb is the upper level of a person's house. So I'll just give you a quick little tour. It's actually very similar layout to the Airbnb that Cheyenne and I stayed in when we drove to Nashville to see Demon Hunter in 2017, a few months before I proposed. That's probably why I proposed to her, because she decided that she would go to a Demon Hunter concert with me on a whim's notice. Again, we got this bags, I got a t-shirt, we found this uh, ticket stub, and then an actual set list from the stage, ripped off the stage and handed to us with the logo on it and everything. It was just insane, literally insane. I haven't really spoken about it a whole lot on my channel that I'm like a metal head. And I'm probably gonna do, even if it's just a short video, explaining my tattoo and the process behind the tattoo, why I wanted the tattoo, and things like that. And explain Demon Hunter and the connection. <laughs> Sorry. Explaining the connection um, that I have with Demon Hunter, how long I've been in love with Demon Hunter, all that stuff. Save that for a little cool video, just to kinda dive in 
to just how important this band is to me and now how important it is to Tiny One. So we're gonna get into some comfies because we have been going basically since 6.45 this morning. Well, 6.30 for this one. We're gonna get some snacks and turn on the tube. And then tomorrow, adventures. We will see you in the morning. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> we are here in downtown St. Louis. We had Waffle House. Always gotta have Waffle House. When there's a Waffle House available, we gotta have Waffle House. But now we're gonna start doing some exploration. We got our caffeine. Um, as you can see, I've shifted to another flavor, not consistently and all the time, but they introduced this new blue Raz flavor, so Rockstar Endurance. Again, I'm still I'm still on this train, still here, still riding, okay? So just speaking of train, uh -huh. Union Station. It's a hotel now, but that's where we're going. We're gonna go. Oh, excuse me. Check that out. Let's do it. Let's do it. used to be a bustling train station, to the best of my knowledge, and it looks like they're still in process of making it what it is now. This is, this is glamorous. It's stunning. Super glamorous. So this is what it used to look like. So if you look here, you got these door frames. That's basically, so we are actually down in here. You got the little door frames there. The trains are here. We're right out there. A lot different in 2019. So we're in the section of Union Station with Grand Ballrooms. And when we walked to this area from the main station, we felt like this time shift, like it felt historical where we were at and then we walked into this area and all of a sudden we got like this late 80s early 90s feel and we thought back to when this was actually reopened to the public after they stopped the train transit here and it reopened to the public in 1985 and when you look at some of the colors and stuff that was chosen in here it has a 80s or 90s feel to it and we'll show you as we get out here a little bit more of that but even the smell is the smell of our childhood yeah. honestly yeah I was born in 87, she was born in 91, so like we were born in the midst of that classic era and the feeling in here, there's just like this sense of well, like a lack of life. It felt like we walked into an abandoned hotel, that's really what it felt like. And like we've seen one person here, but it was a worker. Mm -hmm. And otherwise there's nobody here. who's staying here. Nope. It's just, it's dead silent. And so you look here and you can just, it just, I mean it's, it's nice. And the lighting up here has probably been reinstalled later on, but it just has this vibe to it. The colors, the feeling of it all. It honestly, it reminds me of the Crossroads Mall in Omaha. Creepy. It has that feel to it. Yeah. And then when we get out here, we'll show you where they either did tickets or admission of some kind. And you can see the entrance here was added on, but you got people sitting here, and over here was some sort of a ticket taker or something. But they tried their best to acclimate it with all of it, but it just has a, a different feel to it, a different decade than the 1800s that are out here. So we've made our way out to this courtyard. We've gone through several doors that technically you're supposed to have a key to get through, but they're unlocked, so we just walk on through. Hey. Out here is where trains used to be housed, and they're currently working on building this aquarium. Holy cow, this is awesome. Whoa. Ah, oh, so cool. Look at that. This is a continuation of the hotel and the ballroom area that we were referencing from the 80s and 90s and still has that feel. This whole thing used to house trains and now it's hotter than balls out here. 
So this is cool. So this is a picture of Chouteau's Pond in the 1800s, and it was drained in the 1850s and then used for 42 train tracks, which is what was out here. And if you look out here at these posts, you can see the concrete levels that they had to break away while taking out the original tracking floor to put in what we see now. See, history in real life is way better than history in the classroom. We are standing here on the footprints of track number 20. And over here, track 19, track 21, 22, and so forth. So you can see a sudden jump and change in scenery between the scene that you just saw and the scene that you're seeing right now. It's because it's well over five hours later and we're at home because we decided that we'd rather get home at a decent time tonight. Demon Hunter, you were wonderful. Thank you for everything. Make sure if, uh, if you liked what you saw that you go follow them on Instagram and check them out here on YouTube. They got a fantastic music video selection, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'll put their socials down below, so make sure you check them out if you like the, the music that you heard. Wonderful time. It was a quick little trip to St. Louis, but it felt really long. It felt like we were there for two days. Technically, we were in St. Louis on two days, but it wasn't two days total. No, we were only in the St. Louis area for roughly about 27 hours. It was fantastic. So thanks again to Yuma Hunter for a wonderful time. And as always, it's all knee and no foot. And it's just easy to remember. So don't forget and stop mispronouncing our last name because it's really rude. It's easy to just spell it out. A-L-N-E, okay? Alney. Easy. Just remember, it's Alney and no foot. <laughs> we'll see you later. So that picture I just showed you, that's the staircase. And then we were looking at like this area here and then just trains were out there. All the trains.